Speaking of which, and speaking of visiting Asia, um, I actually had a chance to go to the uh, Super Mario World in uh, Japan, in the Osaka uh, Universal Studios, which was actually fantastic. So I was really excited when I saw the trailer for uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie. But mm -hmm. I want to I end on a good note because we're going to move into a wrap up here and just say, why? what are they doing here that is right? Like, what is Universal doing? What is this movie doing specifically that is right where we've seen Star Wars consistently fuck up? Like, Lucasfilm mm -hmm. cannot do anything right. What is it? What's the magic of Super Mario Brothers that, that's really hitting here? So Nintendo is a uh, Nintendo is a the, the best thing about Nintendo is also the worst thing about Nintendo. And it's that they have literally no self-awareness. They do what they want to do. So they don't think about the optics, but that's again. So they make a lot of bonehead decisions by copyright claiming, uh, you know, videos uh, and gameplay. There was a long time where Nintendo would claim actual video gameplay off youtube someone playing their fucking game and you're like what are you doing but they're also not going to listen to blue-haired weirdos on twitter they're just doing their own thing and that's kind of a japanese thing anyway you know what i mean like anime yes, and all they, that like anime is just so i will tell you jeremy i was just there speaking to some friends who are japanese if you were native they don't give a fuck about don't our woke care shit. They, they don't care don't. Yes, and they don't. Nintendo, Nintendo has been a, a prominent fixture in my life since the mid '80s when I got a Nintendo Entertainment System, and they have they have always stayed true to the the core of what they've always been. They just had, you know, like Mario's not uh, Mario's not going to be transitioning. You know what I mean? Like Peach ain't going to have a dick. It, it's just not going to happen. Um, <laughs> you know, so um, so with this Mario movie. When it first was announced as a big Nintendo fan and a big Mario fan, I just thought, like, what kind of story can you tell with a Mario movie? This is weird. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how this works. And then Chris Pratt got cast, and I love Chris Pratt, but Chris Pratt is Mario. Like, none of it sounded like it would be very entertaining then we got the first kind of glimpses of it and i'm like okay this looks really good this looks really good and then we got the full first full trailer and it was fantastic i did criticize a bit of it with the uh, peach there's a point with peach where she you know she looked like bo peep from toy story 4 uh, and i kind of okay. i, I, I kind of criticized that i went super mega viral on twitter because some of my haters clip that out and they're like oh look right. he's intimidated by women again and i'm like no by i'm just strong saying like women. You're, yeah, Jeremy like, intimidated by strong women <laughs> i'm like i'm just uh, i'm just concerned based on current hollywood you know what i mean but right. it, it's just a concern but it didn't hurt my an anticipation for it so if you look at the trailers for the mario movie they are incorporating specific things that Mario fans and Nintendo fans are going to fully appreciate while also telling a good story. At least that's what it appears with bringing more like development to lesser characters in it uh, with it, whether it's, you know, like the, the Koopas or, you know, right. with Toad in there, obviously Luigi, these are main fixtures thing, but you have Bowser, you have the penguin. So it's just like, it looks like, Right now with Nintendo, what they're doing, what this seems to be doing, Nintendo is possibly going to give families a wholesome, iconic character that they can take their children to over and over again that's going to entertain them. It feels like it could be Pixar back in the day with Toy yep. Story and Monsters, Inc. That's what this feels like, and it's because Nintendo kind of stays above that. Now, the concern right. is, is it is a Hollywood production with illuminations, and right. I don't, but I can't see Nintendo allowing any mega wokeness to come into it. I just can't. The trailer looks so good. If you play it, they're going to claim it, by the way. Yeah, so. no, 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 no. That's why yeah. I only have it on the freeze frame mm -hmm. of Bowser's yeah. Castle. I yeah. will definitely not do it. I will definitely not have it, but I mean, just like if you scroll through this, oh, the graphics, man. look at the fucking quality on this. This the is Mario not a Kart budget stuff. production. Oh, and it's, it's got, yeah, so it's got good. all the references that are there, all like the member berries and like the little Easter eggs. It's mm -hmm. going to be, it's going to be great. It's doing it the right way, I think, yes. on the trailer. Now, I'll have to see the final production, but, you know, if it's good, you know, I'm, I'm going to maybe see it multiple times. I see mm -hmm. nowadays, if I see a good movie, there's so few. I end up seeing them multiple times. I saw Maverick three times. Yes, um, talked so on Maverick good. three so times because it's that good. 